guys to lesson plan one, guard break number three. Now, if you've already attempted guard break number one, you were able to stay in a very safe position, leaving yourself um, very few risks. You tried to break the guard with guard pass number two, and evidently they've got strong dexterity in their legs, so now you have to escalate the pass. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna add gravity to this situation and some leverage with your knee. The gravity of the situation is gonna become standing up from the guard. So once again, please keep in mind, we did one and two. And one wasn't even a break, it was counting on our opponent to be fatigued or to make the, to be frustrated and make the mistake of going off the center. Um, this is my partner today, Athena. Athena, will you come down and I will go in your guard, please. Now, for this particular pass, we're gonna ask that you have your partner put their butt right on a crack. And this is important because this is gonna allow me to know where to put my knee for leverage. Now, I wanna make sure their posture is down, so I'm gonna grab a two on one hand and I'm gonna shove it down straight. I'm gonna keep my head up and chest. My arms are locked as a cylinder, so she can't sit up with her hips um, forward or shoot her hips up. I need to make sure this posture is broken. As I do this, I'm going to step up to the same side arm that I've trapped. Now, as I step up to this side, she can't hook my leg because I've controlled this arm. As I control, I'm gonna direct my weight to this foot and I want to take this other foot and find the center crack. That's why I used the line. So now my foot can find the seam of the mat. This is, this is center mat. My knee is, feels very vulnerable right now. I have to make sure I keep my leg bent. My heel is elevated up. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna walk this foot back in a circular motion as I transfer my weight from this foot to this foot, dropping my heel down to the mat. Now the front of my knee should be right in her, her like in the middle area of the, the crack. As I'm here, my hands release to here and go to the pant legs and I start shoving down and I bring my elbows in and I start wiggling my knee back. Is that a partner? The front of my knee needs to go on their butt not the top of my knee. Without a partner, two on one, center line. Two on one, down, step up. Transfer my weight to this leg. Use this free leg to find the line and the crack. Now look, my knee is bent. I need to walk it to the front of my knee. So what I do is I walk my foot in a circle, placing my heel down, getting my front knee. As I drop my chest to my knee, taking away all the space, once my knee is here where the butt is, I push my knee forward and I arch back as I'm breaking with the elbows. Now, what you just saw was a controlled movement between me and my opponent. I don't want my knee to ever be like this as I'm putting it there because they will fall on it. I need to make sure this leg is bent and I stay on my toes. This is super important because I don't want my knee to go to the side or it'll get locked. Now, come back down. Sometimes you don't have time to finesse it. There's, you can finesse it or you can just kick the door down. I, sometimes whatever you need to do is what's important. Whatever like it may, whatever the situation calls for. Now I'm here, perfect position, up, step up, and I'm having trouble getting that leg there. So I transfer my weight to that leg, so now it's strong. I pick my partner up by the hips, and I place them on my knee. I drop my knee in, bring my hands in, grabbing the pant legs, and driving my knee up. So not only can I place my knee there, and manipulate my body into perfect position, but I can also pick them up and place them on my knee using the same technique of dropping my chest to my knee and slowly walking my heel down to the mat. 
that is guard break number three, lesson plan one.